reset. I am making water for tea right here in the microwave. I'm gonna have some elderberry tea. Another one I got from Smith's that doesn't need any cream or anything to taste good, so that's nice. <laughs> I like that. And Logan got into my potatoes this, uh, this morning. I had five last night. I was planning to eat for breakfast, but kids, he got into my potatoes, and so I only had three really small ones left, so I decided to make hash browns instead. I don't even have a lot of time, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to f eat them. Like, I might have to cook them, take Gary into school, come back and eat them. I don't know yet. It's it's 7.30 and Gary Ann has to be at, I have to leave to take Gary to school at like 8, 8.05. So it usually takes me like half an hour to make hash browns to get them like perfectly like crispy and good. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see, but I'm having hash browns for breakfast. Let me show you. I added garlic powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, and a little bit of the everything but the bagel seasoning. And as you can see, there was some clumps in the bag that I, I couldn't get. I couldn't get to break up, so I'm waiting for this to heat up a little bit so I can break it up. Anyway, that's that. So I just flipped my hash browns. I use a plate to do it, so they come out all perfect. <laughs> um, it's 7.50 already, and I just flipped it, and it needs another 10 or 15 minutes on the other side to cook, so. All right, my giant hash brown is done. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave and leave it there and come back and eat it. Hey you guys, I just got home from work. I came home because my stomach has still been really hurting a lot and after two and a half days of my stomach hurting really bad, I got really sick and tired of it and decided to leave work early and come home and rest. Um, and I had this waiting for me when I got home and it's something that I was not going to buy, but decided to buy because it was a little bit on sale on Cyber Monday. I saved $20, not very much, but it's better than nothing, right? And I really wanted it and I wasn't gonna get it, but I caved in and I got myself one. So let's see what it is. So the reason I wasn't going to buy myself this is because obviously you can see it's pretty large. And I only have a limited amount of space in my tiny little kitchen. But I'm gonna make room. I will find a way. <laughs> I will find somewhere to put it. I think I'm just gonna have to move some of our Tupperware like storage container things that I have on the counter into the pantry and put this next to where the toaster is. But I don't know, it's, this is gonna be pretty big I think. It's a family sized. <laughs> Air fryer. Yay! I'm so excited. And it's teal. It's so cute. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to like hook it up right now and wash the basket and make some potato fries. I have three potatoes left. So I'm gonna try it out and see how we do. So I haven't eaten anything since my stomach's been hurting. I still haven't had lunch. I haven't been eating lunch like every day, but it's lunchtime right now. And I can't keep starving myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to eat something and might as well do it since we need to test this out. So let's do it. <laughs> Yes, it's very large. Oh my gosh. It's definitely gonna take up all that counter space. Look at this thing, it's as big as my freaking chest. <laughs> it smells brand new. Oh, it says it must be placed at least six inches from the wall, but obviously I'll play out to the front of the counter when I'm actually using it. Oh, it's so cute though. Dang, it's like a giant egg, it's so big. <laughs> all right, well, there it is, my new baby. What should we name her? Give me some name suggestions down below in the comments. All right, so it's here on my counter. Like I said, I moved my Tupperwares that were back there <laughs> into the pantry, and that's where I'm gonna store it. Um, here are my potato wedges. Like I said, I only had three little small ones left, so it's not very much, but that's good, because if I burn it, <laughs> then I won't be wasting too many potatoes. So I seasoned these with garlic powder and black pepper, and 
The booklet here says for potato wedges, 350 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes. Ah, uh, but that says for one to two and a half pounds worth. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the homemade fries one and do 400 degrees for like 10 minutes and see how it turns out. Cause I want them crispy. So let's give it a try. Here we go, we're gonna set it. Let's see. 400 degrees. Let's turn it on and see. Oh, that is so cool. It's going already. I'll let you know how it turns out. All right, it dinged. Let's see how they look after 10 minutes. Ooh, yes, those look good. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, dude. That is so awesome. They look so good. Wow, I'm kind of tempted to put them in for another minute or two. I don't want to burn them, but oh, I like, I really like crispy fries. These look so good so far though. Let's try, let's try like, just, just another like, another like minute or two. Let's hope we don't burn them. All right, it's done. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Really wishing I had some salt-free ketchup. I don't have any. <sighs> I guess I can make my own ketchup. I do have dates and tomato paste. And High Carb Hannah has a lean and clean tomato sauce recipe, like ketchup recipe that I like. And it's um, it's uh, basically SOS free or whatever, salt oil sugar free. So. Other than the dates, the dates are natural sugar though, so maybe I'll make that really quick because I can't eat fries without ketchup after last night. They were like so dry last night. I was eating my fries last night and I'm like, I really need some ketchup or something and I had nothing. So I was eating broccoli and <laughs> eating the potatoes and then drinking my tea, trying to not like <sighs> choke of dry mouth. They were good, but I definitely need a sauce of some kind, so. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make some ketchup. I've got tomato paste here, so I'll make a big batch of ketchup to keep in the fridge since I'm all out of regular ketchup. All right, uh, I guess I'll just let these sit here and cool while I make the ketchup really quick. I can always throw them back in the air fryer for a minute to warm them back up if they get cold. Basically, I've got some dates, <laughs> some tomato paste, interested in the full recipe high carb hannah's uh books are linked in my description box because i am an affiliate for her so i'm not going to write out the exact ingredients for you guys but you get the picture from looking at it i'm sure it's very easy to make so if you're interested check out that link and i'm gonna eat my lunch getting a little bit sick of potatoes <laughs> so 
I'm gonna make uh, a potato soup for dinner, like a veggie type potato soup. So I'm looking at Janine's, uh, my friend Janine's potato reset book and I'm checking out the list of non-starchy vegetables that I can use. So I'm gonna show you the page in the book cause her book is really pretty and I like it and I wanna share it with you for <laughs> a second. So this is the book and my phone is holding place for us. <laughs> you can have a little glance at it. And here's the list of non-starchy vegetables. So I'm gonna use onions and green beans. Oh wait, no, I think I'm out of green beans. I'm all out of everything, except I think I have some frozen kale or spinach in the freezer and onions. I don't know, I have to look around. I don't have that much food in the house right now, but this is the list. So if you guys are interested in what the non-starchy vegetables are that are approved on the plan, here's the list. <laughs> I wish I had more of them, but I need to go grocery shopping. And I'm making spaghetti. That's what this pot is for, for the kids and Luis for dinner. So yes, I am making them something separate than what I'm having. That way all of these leftovers that I make from this soup for me alone. That way I have soup tea for the next day or two. y'all we about to find out if this is yummy it sure looks and smells yummy it smells really good Ooh, hot super hot uh definitely needs salt i guess i could put a little bit on the top can you give me the salt please yes it's already nice though to have something that tastes a little bit different than just plain potatoes. So <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Break it. Thank you. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on the top. Hold on, I wanna show them. And I'm sure. Oh, they can't see. No, no. You can't. You can't show that because it has your school name on it. Anyway. It has a nice little kick in it because I added cayenne to it, so it's really good. I hope you liked all the recipes I made today. I hope you guys try some of them. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are gonna try something that I made today. I would really love to know, and uh, if you change it, let me know that too, because you know I'm always changing my recipes and trying new things. So if you can make it better, not that you know what this tastes like, but if you can make it unique, I wanna know about it, all right? And you can always post it on Instagram and tag me at Team Broccoli. So I will check it out there too if you do that. Thank you. I would appreciate it. That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.